Before you can become a CISSP certified professional, you must meet some mandatory experience requirements. Let's have a look at them. So ISC Square states that candidates must have a minimum of five years of cumulative paid work experience in two or more of the eight domains of CISSP common body of knowledge. So the minimum requirements is five years. However, even if you don't have five years of experience, you can still sit the CISSP exam. Let's see how this works. So let's say you don't have an experience of five years. Perhaps your experience is one year, two year, three year, or even zero year. You can still sit for the CISSP exam. However, if you clear the CISSP exam, you will be called Associate of IC Square. You will not be called CISSP Certified Professional. However, once you've cleared the CISSP exam, you can still accumulate the relative experience. So for example, if you had previously three years of experience and you get two more years of experience, you can apply for endorsement. And once the process completes, you'll automatically be converted from Associate of IIC Square to CISSP Certified Professional. Now, before you are certified as a professional, you cannot put CISSP Qualified or CISSP Certified on your credentials anywhere. But once you have met the five years experience, you can be called as CISSP Certified Professional. Let's have a more detailed look at the experience requirements and couple of important points which I would like to discuss. So you can claim one year of experience against a four year college or university degree. So let's say if you have a four year undergraduate degree, you can claim one year against that. You can also claim the same year if you have done another approved credential. So IC Square offers a number of certifications. If you have done another one, you can claim one year against that, but you cannot combine both. It's either or. So either you claim it against your undergraduate degree or you claim it against the approved credential. So the maximum that you're going to get is one year. Another important point to note is that the experience requirement is cumulative, which means that your experience doesn't necessarily have to be five years straight full time. You can have a combination of full time, part time and even internships if you want to meet the five year requirement. But there's a small catch in this. The point being that your previous job responsibilities need to cover at least two domains of the CISSP common body of knowledge. So there are a lot of candidates who have these questions that, you know, we have not worked as a cybersecurity professional previously. Can we claim experience? Well, actually, it depends. Obviously, it's not mandatory to have worked in the cybersecurity industry per se but your job responsibilities must meet at least two of the domains. So let's say if you have worked as a network administrator and your job responsibilities covered at least two or more of CISSP common body of knowledge domains, then you can claim at least part of your experience towards the five year mark. However, it is relatively gray area because it's eventually up to IIC square to determine. So they have the final say into how much experience will they count uh, but rest assured, if your previous job experience, um, the responsibilities during the job cover at least two domains, you can claim partial experience at least.